It's a TZ200. The camera still offers all the wonderful same features as before in the Panasonic range. So we have the 4K video shooting option. We have uh, the touchscreen controls there to allow you to uh, change the color balances and things like that. All the wonderful little things that allow you to quirkily play around with the camera. The art modes, which I found relatively addictive, I'm afraid to say. So things like the dynamic monochrome on here, still possibly one of the best features that Panasonic ever came out with. So how could Panasonic make the TZ200 any better? Well, there's a few little things here that have made it that little bit better across the whole of the performance ranges, and it's the subtle little differences that make it. So the first biggest one, the 10 times zoom has been improved to 15, so 24, slightly wider, to 360 mil. So we've got an awful lot going on in the zoom there, much more than before. Surprisingly, it's no bigger really than what the TZ100 was doing. So it's, it's about the same physical size, even with that extra amount of zoom. The interface on the back of the camera has been improved greatly with the new software that they're clearly running on all the new products that have come out recently. So very intuitive, very nicely laid out, very sensible design there means that everything is logged and recorded beautifully. The screen itself is also fully touchscreen once again, but you'll find that the clarity of it is far greater as well. So versus the TZ100, the delay rate and the dots per inch were good, but this is so much better. Shooting in RAW, of course, we've still got that option too. The physical attributes of this little guy uh, have changed ever so slightly from its predecessor in that we've got a grip to hold on to here. That's really important with the amount of zoom we've got. We always need something we can hold on to if we're holding that kind of stabilization uh, in our hands, um, particularly with the fact that we've got the viewfinder as well there. So it's the ability to really butt it up and make sure that it's not gonna move or go anywhere. That means you'll be able to get a good shot. The TZ200 offers pretty much everything anyone needs in a compact camera with a hint of bridge model all thrown in at the same time. If you haven't already got something like this in your world, then this is definitely the one to go for.